It's no secret that sexuality is a sensitive topic in South Korea, even on TV. But did you know that some of your favorite actors actually played gay characters? For instance, Lee Jong-suk played a queer character in the 2010 drama Secret Garden. Since this drama aired over a decade ago, including a queer character was a pretty big deal, especially considering how conservative South Korea is. He played the role of Han Tyson, a young musician who gets recruited by a character named Asuka. Sometime later, he tells Asuka that he's gay. Jong-suk's role in Secret Garden was actually one of his very first acting jobs. He was already well-known in the modeling world, since he was the youngest male model to debut at the Seoul Fashion Week. Although he didn't have much screen time in the drama, he still managed to leave quite a good impression with the audience. His character also really stood out since he had red hair and a pretty sassy personality. Since it was one of his very first jobs, he didn't have much acting experience. You'd think that people would criticize his poor acting skills because of this, but it was actually quite the opposite. Viewers were amazed by how natural his acting was and continuously praised him for this. Nowadays, Jong Suk is one of the biggest names in the industry, but fans hold his character in Secret Garden very close to their hearts. They say this was one of his most charming roles and they aren't wrong. The fact that he played a gay role in the past can be very comforting to his queer fans, especially keeping in mind how popular he is now. He really helped push the agenda of normalizing queer characters in K-dramas pretty early on in his career. Next up is Astro's Moonbin, who actually also played a big part in destigmatizing the LGBTQ community in South Korea. Most of his fans probably already know this, but he played a gay character in the drama at 18. His character is a gay high school student who's struggling with feelings for a male friend. If you're part of the community, this probably hits very close to home, so seeing a well-known actor and idol portray that struggle might have made a lot of viewers feel seen. In the drama, he musters up the courage to come out to one of his female friends, and this is a very pivotal part of the show because she happens to like him. He obviously doesn't reciprocate these feelings and tells her he actually has an eye on a guy. To say that Moonbin's fans were happy that he accepted this role is an understatement. Many were so proud that someone with so much recognition within the industry was willing to bring light to the struggles the LGBTQ community faces. Another actor who played an openly gay character is Lee Kyu Hyung. He played the role of Han Yang in Prison Playbook, which was a show that had very little to do with romance. Having a queer character character added to the story without it being a major plot point can be a very nice addition sometimes. In the drama, Kyu Hyung's character struggles a lot, as he has a very serious substance problem. Throughout the course of the show, the people surrounding him help him on his journey to recovery. As you can see, romance isn't really at the forefront of this drama, but Han Yang still happens to fall in love in the series. Kyu Hyung spoke up about portraying this particular character and said that he tried his best to portray Han Yang's sexuality as genuinely as possible. He also acknowledged that this is a sense sensitive topic, so of course he treaded carefully. There was actually also a gay character in Reply 1997, played by Hoya. He was one of the first few actors to play an openly gay character in a K-drama, and it isn't until a few episodes in the drama that you find out his character is gay. People don't really talk about it because it's kind of a spoiler for the series. For those who don't know, he plays the role of Kang Joon-hee, a shy but very sweet right-hand man to the biggest heartthrob of the school. This heartthrob in question is Yoon Jae, played by So in Gu. The big plot twist in Reply 1997 is that Joon-hee is gay, but that's not all. It turns out he actually has the biggest crush on Yoon-jae, who's practically his best friend. Nobody's aware of this except for one of his other friends, so it's a pretty big deal. Playing a gay character in 2012 definitely had a few consequences for Hoya. Unlike Lee Jong-suk, it's said that Hoya faced quite a bit of criticism during that time since Koreans weren't that keen on seeing homosexuality on TV. Despite this, there's still tons of viewers who are very happy with his portrayal, so it was definitely worth worth it in the end. If you've seen A Time Called You, you probably know that the gay couple in the drama is played by the biggest names in the industry right now. On Hyo Sop and Rowoon decided to change things up a bit and played gay lovers in the eighth episode of the series. Although it's not explicitly stated that they're dating, it becomes very obvious once they hold each other's hands. Unfortunately, their love story comes to a tragic end, but you'll have to watch the drama to find out what happens. The director of the drama always had a BL sequence in mind, so he wanted to cast someone who Hyosop would feel comfortable with. Hyosop revealed that he'd always wanted to work with Rawoon, since they've been friends for a long time, but never got the chance to star in a drama together. This was the perfect opportunity. So he proposed the idea to the production team, and they immediately agreed. Hyosop believed it was best to bring in a friend for the role, since the characters obviously have love for each other. Explaining his thought process, he said, Love has many forms, and I believe that the affection you feel for your 
friend is one of them. However, playing out such a romantic sequence with one of your close friends might get a little awkward. Yosop confessed that they actually struggled quite a bit at first, since this was their first time acting together on set. The fact that they had to play each other's love interest didn't exactly make it easier. They eventually got the hang of it, and although it was a bit strange at first, it actually became really fun as they continued shooting. Yosop admitted there were still a few times they experienced discomfort, but that was something they learned to work with. He added, We became immersed in the situation while acting, but as soon as the scene was over, we got annoyed that we had been so into it. But when they were asked if there were any lingering feelings after filming, both of them laughed and said no, it turns out that Rawoon didn't even get paid for his special appearance because he didn't want to. The director shared, Rawoon didn't take any money for the appearance. Instead, Rawoon asked that on get a meal truck sent in Rawoon's name. It seems like this was overall just a very fun experience for these two, but for the LGBTQ community, their portrayal of a gay couple was actually pretty groundbreaking. Considering how big they are within the entertainment industry, this definitely played an important role in normalizing gay couples in K-dramas. Did you know that Che So Wan also played a gay character? He made headlines for starring in Unintentional Love Story, one of the brand new Korean BL releases of this year. The plot follows a recently fired employee who decides to turn his life upside down by traveling to a cozy coastal town. Here he meets a mysterious pottery shop owner with a very intriguing past. Spoiler alert, the two fall in love. You'd think that fans would be happy that So Wan decided to play a queer character, but it was quite the contrary, actually. Shortly after the release of the drama, So Wan announced his marriage to actress Um Hyun Kyung. They also shared they're expecting a child together, which usually would be taken as very good news. Fans were incredibly upset, though, and this had everything to do with the timing of the announcement. Many argued that the news of his marriage would affect the show negatively, since it's a BL drama. Some also found it suspicious that So Wan enlisted almost immediately after the drama premiered. They were leaving an overwhelming amount of malicious comments on his socials, calling him incredibly selfish. In a letter to his fans, So Wan shared that he filmed the drama with lots of love and that it still holds a special place in his heart. Many Korean netizens expressed that it was crazy for him to receive so much hate for getting married. Someone wrote, Why is it so wrong for an actor who appeared in a BL drama to get married? Although many of his Korean fans had his back, others aren't going to forget about this for a while. Last up is Jung Garam, who played a gay character in Love Alarm. His character Hye Yong was actually one of the main characters in the series. During one of the episodes, his love alarm goes off as a male student approaches him. This means that this guy has feelings for him, and Hye Yong accepts those feelings with open arms. Love Alarm was very focused on showing the effects our modern-day social media addiction has on our love lives, but nobody really expected it to include a gay storyline. Although Hye Yong's sexuality wasn't explicitly stated in the show, it's pretty obvious that his interaction with his fellow student had love undertones. Share your thoughts in the comments, and thanks for watching.